Good morning, all you crafty people. So this morning, sorry, I have some glue on there. It's bothering me. Um, I'm doing a, something a little bit differently. I'm going to work with PML cards. And if you've never used Picture My Life cards before, um, or you've only used them in scrapbooking and pocket scrapbooking, then maybe this is an option for you for card making. Um, or if you haven't used them at all, then maybe this is a good option for you for card making. So these will make really good, fast and easy cards. So here's what they come in. They come in like a little package. It says, Picture My Life. This is the Daisy Meadows pack. I'm not going to use these ones, and I pick and choose what I want to use. Um, it comes with 24 cards. You get 4 by 6s you get 12 of those, and then you get 12 3 by 4s What I go and do first is I lay them all out, and then I pair them up. So these are my pairings. So I have a, I have six of them that we're going to try to make today. So I have these three by fours. This is a three by four and a four by six. Now these are two four by sixes and a three by four. A four by six and a three by four. And I try to do one and one. A four by six and a three by four. A four by six and, a, and two three by fours. Okay, so there's the six cards. I'm going to start with the first one I showed you. And all we're going to do is we're going to just start trimming. Okay, and I'm going to just trim everything down and cut everything out. Now this does involve some fussy cutting. If you don't like fussy cutting, then eliminate the ones that fussy cut. Okay, or utilize them somehow another way. So I'm going to leave this one alone because that is a really nice little card. And if you can't see that, um, very pretty all on its own. So of course there's two sides to them and you get to choose which side. This is like a mink type of side and this is the peacock side. I like the peacock. This is like a charcoal stamp background. I'm just going to trim this down to get a five and a quarter by four and it's already by four so you just have to trim the four, five and a half side which the A2 size cards are five and a half by four and a quarter and I'm just going to trim it down to just a quarter off so that it fits really well in the center of the card with some white background okay so that's all I'm that's all I'm going to do with that super easy trimming so that card is ready to be assembled now you can either keep this as like a strip, a scrap, or you can toss it. This one, I'm going to be doing the same. It's very similar um, type of setup. I want to trim the bottom here. I don't want to trim this really pretty decorative piece, and if you didn't see that, it is really pretty. So I'm going to just trim this down to five and a quarter. And this one has the mint on the back with that same pattern. Now, Picture My Life cards are quite fun because they can be used horizontally or they can use vertically. And you just flip them over so you can use this one horizontal or vertically or if you want, you can do it horizontally. So I could either put it in here like this or I can put it in there like this on the mint side. That one's really pretty actually. Or you can use the Sundance side, put it like that. So there's lots of options that you can do. These guys I'm going to leave alone for now. Those are all three by fours. This one I'm going to trim down. Okay, I'm going to trim this one down just a little bit differently. I'm going to trim the very edge off. I kind of like, I don't know if I want it that way or if I want it this way. Let's see, where was my sentiment? So, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to lay, overlay the happy, happy, happy in between each one. And I'll probably flag them out, so I'll probably chop this all up too. Probably dovetail them. Um, and I can, that way I can stagger them too if I want. So we could do it that way or we can do it opposite. Which is kind of, I like the opposite, personally. So let's do opposite. So I'm just going to trim these right down to the flags, to those cute little dovetails, which if 
you've watched many of my videos, you know I love dovetails. Okay, and then I'm going to just trim this to the five and a quarter. And we'll see how that does. Let's go actually five inch. Let me move this so I can see fully. Let's do five inch. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to... I want to trim those completely off and at five and a quarter it was still going to hit the peacock there with that little dovetail so there's that one let's just trim these guys down i probably didn't want to do it like that but oh well i did I wanted to dovetail them and then i forgot so, I'm going to trim them right to them now because that's what I've already done. And we will just stagger them with um, some 3D foam tape. So, these cards become very fast. And if you saw my post yesterday, I posted uh, some PMLs that I did with the current paper, which is the Stars and Sparklers. There's a lot of us are calling it stars and sparkles so that we don't get in trouble by Facebook police. Okay, so there's all my little happies. And these I'm going to keep really generic because these are going to go to Lola's Smiles. These are all my Lola's Smiles cards for probably next month. I already have mine done for this month. So, Okay, so there's three. See how fast we're going? Now this one I'm going to have two fussy cuts. I'm going to fussy cut this flower arrangement and I'm going to fussy cut this tag. Now if you have the tag uh, die cut you can. I find sometimes that it's just easier just to cut the tags. Um, actually this one we could even straight line, right? So let's do that. Let's just straight line it. Show you how easy sometimes it's easier than grabbing a die machine and your dies and in my opinion. Now if you like if you'd much rather do a die machine, have at it. It's just easier for me to either fussy cut them or just cut them like this. And all I do is I just line it up on my wire. So I have a wire trimmer, not the rail. And I'm just gonna trim these up. Now I still have a little bit of pink on there, so I'm going to just trim this just a touch more, get that pink off of there. So there's my tag. Super simple. Sorry about that slam. It's a board on my trimmer. And all those little strips are trash. I'm going to just trim this one down. Now, this one I want to see, I mean, it doesn't matter because it's either the peacock or it's the peach color, so it really doesn't matter. I am going to trim it down to five and a quarter. And these little strips that I'm placing over here, I'm probably going to keep because these are really good for strip cards. Okay. And again, I'm going to fussy cut this, but we'll do that here in a minute. Let's just finish these up. So these two I'm going to leave alone for right now. This one I'm going to fussy cut. This one I'm going to leave alone completely. Those are the three by fours. This one I'm going to trim down to five and a quarter. And again, I'm going to save this because those are really good strips. Use those probably next week. Let's see a strip card next week. This one I'm going to trim. We've already trimmed, right? So trimming is done. I'm going to just do this the fussy cutting. So I have my non-stick shears. That's the only kind that I own because really I don't have any use for the other ones. I'm just going to leave a yellow border. And before I cut all this out, that's the other side. It's much bigger. Most of the ones that go vertically like this that are big are probably going to be close to four to four and a quarter inches. So they're going to take up a good portion of your card. So I, I tend to use the other side just so that I don't have 
as much. No. <laughs> this is going to drive me nuts. Let's just get it down to where I can actually work with it. And it just depends on how detailed you want to get with these. It's not really... You want to just blanket it and just leave a lot of the leaves showing in the yellow, then that's fine. To each their own, and if you don't like fussy cutting, then you either eliminate this type of card, or you just really do a blanket fussy cut. Where you don't get a lot of these little leaves and the accents there. I like fussy cutting, and in fact, there's usually one, one or two stamp sets that I'll get in the catalogs that won't have the die cuts, and the reason being is that, for one, they're quite a bit uh, less expensive if you don't get the die cuts, and if you don't mind fussy cutting and you feel like they're easy fussy cuts, I did that with the besties in the last catalog. Um, it's just kind of up to you, but if you don't mind fussy cutting, I thought the besties looked pretty easy to cut, and they are. They're really easy to cut out. Now, one trick to fussy cutting, in case you don't know, you don't do fussy cutting or you don't like it, and so you, or you don't have a good method, hold your scissors uh, still. Don't move the hand that has the scissors. Move the paper. See how I'm rotating the paper around the scissors? And you're going to want a wide mouth on your scissors to begin. And then you're just going to move that paper around. It's probably making you guys dizzy. And make sure you cut really closely to it first off. That's why I cut this big piece of paper off. Because or else that piece of paper is going to get in your way and it's going to frustrate you. Almost there. A couple more that I need a fussy cut though. So let's just go ahead and fussy cut all of them. I have two more fussy cuts. Now this one has the peacock on one side and mint on the other. Now what you're going to notice is the only peacock in the mint you're going to see is inside these little dots and inside this oval. And that is perfectly fine by me. So What's nice about this one is it's already really close to the edges. It's already trimmed down for me, so I'm just going to... You'll notice that I, I trim little pieces off as I go because they either start hitting my hand or they get in the way of the scissors. Hopefully this is, my camera's focusing. I'm not focusing on the camera, by the way. I'm focusing on my cut. Almost halfway. Almost there, guys. And then I have just one more after this to fussy cut. And then we'll... This just makes the things stand out a little bit more. I think you guys may not agree. You guys can always uh, have some die cut flowers to go around this too. If you just wanted to cut a straight oval, you can always layer it with flowers all the way around, and that would be really pretty too, die cut flowers. That way you're not fussy cutting a lot. This is the last one, so you either have the, the blue in the middle, 
or the green in the middle. I'm going to choose the green because I want some color variation. Those are the other two I'm using. I'm using the mint and the, the smoothie this morning. So I kind of want the green. And in case you're wondering if you cut one side, you can still use the other side. You can't because of that flower. Now, if it weren't for that flower, you would be able to. Again, wide mouth on your scissors. Rotate the paper, not the scissors. And I'll make it go a lot, lot faster. And just remove the chunks that are going to get in your way. Okay, so, and you can determine how much fussy cutting you want to do with PMLs. I tend to just separate the ones, the cards that I know I will probably fussy cut versus the cards that I'm going to use as a background and then as a sentiment area. So that's usually how I set up my cards originally, just to pair them up. So, like this is a sentiment one. Okay, super easy. Uh, this I'm going to leave alone, so I call it a sentiment one just because I'm going to leave it alone. I could also stamp on that side if I want. I'm not going to. Okay. So all of these nice papers can go in the garbage. I don't need them anymore. Okay. I have some card bases. And now we can build our cards. Okay, so I'm going to start with this happy, happy, happy one because we all like to be happy, happy, happy. And I got Tombow back. So we're all good there. So I am happy, happy, happy. Now this one I'm gonna use foam tape. What I do is I just a lot of the time I'll just cut a big, big, big strip and then do little strips off of it. This one, the backing moved. That's okay. And I try to do three, one in the middle and one on each side. And the reason being is that way it doesn't like sink or sag in the middle when you send it in the mail. Most of my cards are sent in the mail. It's very rare that I actually hand deliver cards. It's usually only birthday cards for a family in town, which a lot of the time I send them anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to put them in between and I'm going to stagger them all the way down. So just to have fun with it. And this is how it's going to go. Something like that. We will put them closer in so that um, they show the dovetails at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do the, the last one. If you're not so sure about placement of the middles, do the first and the last and the placement of the middles will, will appear. So let's just go ahead and do the the first and the last, that way we know exactly where we want to go. And you don't have to undo the middle backing, it can stay on there. Because this stuff is so sticky anyway, it's going to adhere to the card really securely. So you don't really need to. I do just because it's habit. And I don't think about it. Okay. There's my happy, happy, happy. Almost done. Let's get some more tape. Good morning for those of you who are joining me. Love to have you always. Okay, 
Let's do the green happy. And also playing with it with your fingers. This stuff is super sticky. You're not going to do much to it. Might take some of the stick away, but really, unless you put lotion on your fingers, it's not going to do anything. Okay. And just by giving it some dimension. Now I can put like a flower or something if I really want. I could put a flower arrangement down there, but really this is just kind of a fun card anyway, just with the happy, happy, happy. So I really don't need any stamps, some sentiments. I am going to stamp some sentiments on some of these, but this one doesn't need it. And we're going to build all of the cards and then we'll stamp. So I'm a basically like a process type of person. Stick with one process and then go to the next. So there's the other happy. And I just used 3D foam on that. That one's done. That's a done card. Okay, let's go to the next. There's my fussy cut flower and my tag. Now, actually, I lie. I'm, I'm going to stamp because I hate to stick these things down and have and then stamp it because if I mess up my stamp, I can't really go back, right? So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. And I think I'm debating on like always be your own kind of wonderful. This one has happy day and howdy friend. This one might be what I do. This is the Melissa S. Plan. This is Sentiments, I believe. Yeah, Sentiments by Melissa Esplen. I love this one, obviously. It's very well loved and used. It's probably my most used stamp set. Let's just do Thinking of You. And the reason why I like this one is it has Happy Birthday, Celebrate, Congrats, um, let's see, Grateful, uh, Thank You, Mr. and Mrs. It has a lot of very... Uh, a lot of variation to the sentiments, but you can use them for anything, really. It has hello and very, very nice sentiments. So these are the colors that I chose for today. Sundance, Peacock, and Smoothie. And then, of course, I have my ar archival. I think I'm going to do a dark one, which is Peacock. I could use Smoothie, which is a bit darker, too. Oh, no. I'm going to lose it. And especially if I use this, I would probably use smoothie if I use this one. I think I'm going to use the peach, though. Okay, rub, 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 tap, tap, tap. Make sure I don't have anything. Thinking of you. Rest of the ink off my stamp. So I have my chamois above the camera in case you didn't catch that. Okay, there it is. And I'm stamping on the back of my person mat. I'm going to keep this one out. I'm going to close up my ink so I don't accidentally ink something that I don't want to ink. So I've done that before. This is going to be a horizontal card. I'm going to take this down. Now I could have done it with the vert vertical stripes, but I really do like the peach with this one. Now I'm going to put Tombow on this one and you can see that cutting a tag on the other side doesn't match the tag on this side. So just be aware of that. Now if you're using more of a white background for the tags you can always ink the edges or keep some of that smoothie color that was on there. 
and I'm going to pop this up with 3D foam. And yes, part of my sentiment will be covered, but that's okay. And I have the, th the thin 3D foam tape. That's what I'm using today. I haven't done a shaker card in a while, so I don't have any shaker dots, I don't think, right now. I should look because those are, oh, I do. That's okay. I tend to like those better for this kind of stuff, but that's okay. Because I hoard this stuff for motion cards. I actually do quite a few motion cards for birthdays, especially for, you know, teenagers or kids or even those in their 20s and 30s. I like them. I think they're fun. So thinking of you. Really simplistic card, guys. Done. Okay. Okay, let's stamp this one. Let's see. Maybe we'll do hello for this one. With the same stamp set. Oops, sorry. Bumped my camera. Hopefully it's still focused. And let's do... Maybe we'll do smoothie on this one. So when I do Lola smiles, I do I try to keep these very very uh, simplistic. Now I want the flower down below. Very gen generic and simplistic is usually how I try to do these. So I'm going to cover my smoothie up, or else I'm going to get my hand in it. Okay, and the green. I could use the yellow and make it more subtle. And this would, a lot of these would, uh, it's not the first one, but this one and the one that we just finished would probably go to a, a lady. In fact, I'm going to grab my, my leftover squares. I still have some shakers that I can use off of this because it comes with the different borders. If you do the, um, the square or the rectangle ones, then you get a bit more in there for shakers. I get one on this on this flower. Again, you don't have to take the three D foam off of everything or the backing off the three D foam. Plastic, but done. Let's go really fast once you get everything prepared, huh? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this one now. This is going to be a vertical card. And I'm going to layer it like this. And probably put the flowers down here. And then we'll put a sentiment. Maybe I'll flip these. because I can put a sentiment with Peacock here really easily. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just use hello? Make sure I wipe the smoothie off. I don't know if I did. Okay, so I'm gonna snug it up to the top because I know that that's where I need it. Rub, 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 tap, tap, tap. Move this up to the side. Hello. Okay. 
I'm going to put this about an eighth of an inch down. This one I'm going to do the same but opposite corner. So I'm going to be using this side. Make sure you get the correct side, especially this one's pretty close to each other. So make sure you have the correct side that you want to place down. And I did get some smudgies, but you know what? I can cover those up pretty well with uh, stickles or any of the gem gems or sequins or any of that. And that will be your final thing is... See, that one I covered up there. I can still cover up something up there. That one's done. Let's do this one. This one's going to be a vertical card as well. And I want this at the top. You can put it at the bottom too, but I'm going to put the sentiment at the bottom. So, there's that. If you haven't checked out Lola Smiles, they send cards to individuals who are kind of shut-ins and need some, need some friendly snail mail every now and then. And so I send about, I don't know, I average about a 10 to 15 a month. That's what I average. Now I could stick hello down here and I probably will because it's already on there. It's easy to use. Make sure I don't have any smudges this time, which I do. Could also do, actually I kind of wiped the hello. Could also do um, ombre effect and these stamps really actually make a really pretty ombre. Um, I did it for a graduation card this past week for a really sweet girl graduated here in Winnemucca. Okay, there's that one. Two more, or one more. And then, see how fast those went? So, PMLs are great. You can make Lots of different cards. This one I'm going to make horizontal card too. Um, this one I can make really subtle and put the mink side on. But I want the the peacock. Peacock's one of my favorite colors. I've always liked the teal and turquoise spectrum. Now this one, since it's a bit bigger, I'm really making a mess. I guess it's not a good good crafting session unless you make a mess, huh? This one, I think I'm going to put Thinking of You instead because it's a big, bigger sentiment area. And I think it calls for something a bit more, so kind of like that. Now again, I can put pearls, stickles, all kinds of stuff on here. Let's do peacock. Give it a little bit of variation in there. Or not peacock, smoothie. Putting peacock aside and saying peacock and I'm meaning smoothie. Rubber rub, tap, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. This one's really close to the block size. So there's not much to wipe on that. Okay, there's thinking of you. I could pop this up and I might add some embellishments. I don't know. Um, I probably will add some pearls and or stickles to this, especially this one. This one's really simplistic, but you know, sometimes that's all it needs to be. So leave it as such. 
So, leave all my stuff away. Get a nice area so you can see all the cards we made this morning. Usually I only do one scrapper stash card. This morning we did six cards. All in one, pretty much the same time of session. So here they are. There they all are. So you can't even get them all in. Thanks, Carol, for joining me. Um, hopefully you can make some PMLs too. Some PML card greeting cards. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.